Hi YouTube guys, welcome back to my next video on JNT Labs. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the Arduino based robot controlled by sound sensor. So in this video, we are going to see only the parts what this robot requires and programming part we will be seeing in the next video. Uh, in this video, I will be covering about the parts and also the connections made done to build this robot. Okay, so basically by sound sensor by so using the sound sensor we will be more robot will be moving forward or backward we will be doing basically basically the overview of the project thank you next slide so things required to build it so we require two bevo type motors yes bevo type motors i think you don't know what is bevo type these are different types of motors basically if you go in market and if you tell i require a bevo type motor then they will be giving so how does it look like and everything we will be discussing in our next upcoming upcoming slides. So we require a sound sensor, we require a motor driver IC. So IC number is L293D. Okay. So why it requires next we will be seeing. Next a Arduino board and a base for the robot. So here I have not covered uh, how the base looks like. But in my last video that is the third video I will be showing how it looks like and the, its working function. So moving on to next slide so this is the bevo type motor as you can able to see there here you can able to see there is a connection and i think here it will be a connection and here it will be a connection so two wires will be coming on and this is looks like similar to this kind of thing okay this is a bevo type motor if you go in market and if you tell that i require a bevo type motor you make sure that he gives this kind of motor to you so okay its rpm is about 100 rpm that is his specification so that's all for the vivo type motor let's move to next slide this is a sound sensor this is a sound sensor it looks similar like this so it have vcc ground and digital output a output will be high when it receives a sound okay so it compares with the vcc the input which has given to it this is the comparator and this is a potentiometer using this potentiometer we can adjust the sound up to which decibel of the sound we can it should give logic one through this pin okay through this pin it should give logic one to up to how much decibels if we talk then also we produce produces a sound so to avoid those things we can adjust by using this a potentiometer this is a potentiometer friends and this is your comparator ic it compares and gives our output logic so it has vcc ground and output pin that's all for the sound sensor so next is motor driver it basically a motor driver ic number is l293d so we take this ic and we connect to the motor as shown in the figure you can able to see here that this is the enable pin for the first motor and this is the enable pin for the second motor okay so we have first input and this is the first output motor has two wires so one wire is connected here and another wire is connected here as usual and next motor is connected in a similar fashion this is given to the 5 volts enable pin is also given to 5 volts and vcc2 is also given to 5 volts okay so grounds are made as we will be seeing in the arduino board also how to give connections but basically motor to run a motor this is the thing if you give input this then it will be function so let us see in the code how it functions okay so basically you remember that this 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 are my inputs four inputs i require that's it to drive a to run a motor in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction so moving on to next slide this is the basic connection as you can able to see as i have shown in the diagram that this ic has connected to this pin and this pin this and this and this my will be my input which is given to pin number 13 and this is also my input for the second motor which is given to 11 13 12 11 10 4 are my inputs and these are my grounds which are connected here okay and this is your 5 volts which i have told you these all are the 5 volts which i have given here okay so all i have connected here so basically this is also given to 5 volts this is also given to 5 volts everything is connected to 5 volts this this side and to on this i require a small battery so this is my battery which is given for a power supply in my next video i'll be telling that coding so which will be dumped through using this usb cable so thanks for watching this video stay tuned to my channel if you like this video just press like 
and subscribe to my this channel i will be presenting more videos on arduino for your projects thank you